Consider projection, orthogonal projection on a line L through the origin with direction vector V. Well, we've seen that this uh, is a linear transformation. So take a vector, vector X, and we form the orthogonal projection on V. Now we have, using the formula for the projection, the projection formula, we get t of x equals the dot product of v with x divided by v with itself. And this forms a scalar for v. And if we work out the dot products, we get v1x1 plus v2x2 divided by v1 times v1 plus v2 times v2, which equals v1 squared plus v2 squared, times the vector v1, v2. That's v written in coordinates. So we obtain the vector if we multiply through this v1 over here through the denominator over there. We get v1 squared x1 plus v1 v2 x2. And on the second coordinate we get v1 v2 x1 plus v2 squared x2 divided by the term here v1 squared plus v2 squared. So this equals 1 over v1 squared plus v2 squared times well, here there is a, a matrix, a vector product. If we take out the x1 and x2, we get the, the following matrix, which we will refer to as a projection matrix in R2. So here we get v1 squared and v2 squared, and on the other diagonal we get v1, 2, v1, 2. Well, in a similar fashion, this, this all also works for the R3. So the projection on the line in the R3. Now our V has three components, and we use a formula similar to the one we have here. So we write it down per coordinate, then we get a v1 squared plus v1. Yeah, on the diagonal we get the squares, of v2 squared and v3 squared. And we form the other products v1, v2, v1, v3, v2, v3, etc. times the vector x. And this matrix is called the projection matrix in the R3.